facts to know. Once upon a time, there was a young disciple named Yoshi. One day, Yoshi sat under the cherry blossom tree, watching the petals dance in the breeze. Though the day was beautiful, a frown creased his brow. Sensei, he said as his teacher approached, I have achieved all you have asked. I have meditated, walked the eightfold path, and found my dharma. Yet one thing eludes me, how to be happy. Sensei smiled kindly, stroking his wispy beard. Happiness, like sunlight, cannot be grasped directly. It is only reflected. Yoshi's frown deepened. Please Sensei, speak plainly. Sensei settled on the ground beside Yoshi. Of course. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a monk who found a magnificent land. When he rubbed it, a genie emerged in a puff of smoke. I will grant you three wishes, said the genie. The monk thought carefully before replying. For his first wish, he asked for an end to all suffering in the world. The genie sadly shook his head. I cannot do that. Please ask for something else. The monk understood he had been too ambitious. For his second wish, he asked for an end to hunger in his village. Again, the genie shook his head. That too is beyond my power. You have one wish left. By now the monk had learned his lesson. For his final wish, he said, I wish to always be content. The genie smiled broadly. Your wish is granted. And with that, the genie disappeared in a puff of smoke, leaving the monk's lamp just as before. Sensei paused, letting his story sink in. Yoshi furrowed his brow. But Sensei, how does this help me find happiness? Sensei explained. Like the monk, you cannot force happiness through wishes or demands. It comes from within. Happiness is granted to those who learn to be content with what they have in each moment. Yoshi's eyes widened, and he understood the true meaning of happiness. He smiled up at the dancing petals, swaying in the serene breeze. For the first time, he noticed their astonishing beauty. One more thing, Yoshi, said Sensei, eyes twinkling. Cut back on the hair gel. The spikes are a bit much. They both laughed long and hard, their chuckles joining the whisper of wind through the cherry trees. Thanks for watching the video. For more updates to my new videos, press the bell icon. And please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you.